Hello, Women's March of Asheville. My name is Galia Poliga, and I am president of the NC National Organization for Women, also known as NC Now. I've been involved in the Raleigh Women's Marches since the beginning. Women and allies all over the world move in defiance in similar directions. Trump becoming president pulled a lot of women into fighting for a better future for all of us, and it forced many to run for office to be the change they want to see. As NC Now president, part of my role is to tell members and others about what's going on around the state, to document events um, and organize them, and it's been a joy with the women's marches. There were 13 women's marches in 2017 in North Carolina. Um, we have a video with all of them um, that Yvonne Brannon made. The women's marches, according to Wikipedia, were the largest single day demonstration in U.S. history. The right to assemble is recognized as a human right and protected in the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Speaking of the Constitution, 2020 is the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment. Um, women gained the right to vote with the 19th Amendment, but it didn't, too many women were prevented from voting for too long. Um, this would be black women, indigenous women, migrant women, immigrant women, poor women. Um, really a lot of women couldn't vote until 1965 and also men of color um and now again there's a lot of voter suppression back as we've learned having the right to vote is not enough we have an article on suffrage centennial events over the last year actually we have a bunch of articles on them they began with the she changed the world kickoff event that was September 2019 at the state capitol in Raleigh and included a bunch of different women's organizations. When Women Gather, Uniting for Positive Change was another event that was last summer that was put together by organizers of different women's organizations. Um, and this event evolved as did everything this year because of the coronavirus. It started as an in-person women's conference at Bennett in Greensboro and evolved into a magical morning on Zoom. It was a lovely event and we reached 685 people via Zoom and Facebook Live and would have only had like 150 people in person. Another change we've seen is Black Lives Matter in the context of women. The extended George Floyd protests became the largest nationwide protests, including the most participants, 15 million to 26 million participants over months. And they started May 26th. Now at our state conference, which is October 9th and 10th, Dr. Valerie Johnson is gonna speak about the racial injustice in the justice system for women. Um, for example, the changes that resulted from the killing of Breonna Taylor would not have happened before all these protests. Um, they just, the city did a settlement with the family for $12 million. We also have experienced a military Me Too movement this summer. My attention this summer was riveted on the disappearance and really gruesome murder of Vanessa Guillen and her disappearance kicked off the military Me Too movement. And as a result, there is actual change coming to the military handling of sex crimes, finally. Not just in Fort Hood, where Vanessa Guillen was murdered, but also it's coming to Fort Bragg. And at our conference, we're having a panel on what is still wrong with Fort Bragg's handling of sexual assault and how to address this. So I'm out of time, but basically the idea is focusing women's power now on the vote. We must get change in the White House. And our conference theme is voting our future now. That is what we really need to do. Go vote. Thank you.